KCBS 6 day forecast. It'll be sunny Monday after a little morning overcast at the coast and near the bay. Highs upper 60s to low 70s at the coast. Upper 70s to mid 80s, bayside 90s inland. For the remainder of the week and on through next Saturday, partly to mostly cloudy at the coast. Plenty of sunshine by the bay and inland heights generally mid to upper 60s at the coast, 70s to low 80s along the bay, low 90s. In. Right now in San Francisco, it's 57 degrees in Katahdi, 55 degrees in San Mateo, 61 degrees. In Cupertino and Concord, it is 63 degrees. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. KCBS News Time is 12.20. Police in Oakland are investigating the death of a man found on the street early Sunday as a homicide. Officers say the man's body was found in the 2100 block of 90th Avenue in East Oakland and there were signs of blunt force trauma. No further details have been released, including the man's name. It is Oakland's 76th homicide this year. Also in Oakland, burglars used a truck to smash into a cannabis shop early Saturday. KCBS reporter Betsy Gebhardt says it's not the first time it's happened. Our papers say just before 40 in Saturday, a two-ton truck drove through the storefront of the Ivy Hill Cannabis Shop in Oakland. On its way, the vehicle destroyed a parking meter, heavy concrete pumps, and the store plate's metal reinforced front door and wall. They got away with a couple of uh, our products that were on display.
solutions to solve problems 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Tarek will take your call. I will take your call. The case managers will take your call. Every person on your legal team will take your call. When you've been injured, you need help. Havis Law is here to make sure you get that help, financial help. I'm Omar Havis, and I want to be your advocate. We have an office near you. Visit HavisLaw.com. H-A-W-B-A-N-Law.com. This is a Bloomberg Money Minute. Wall Street will try to dust itself off today. After posting its biggest loss since June on Friday, Federal Reserve officials continue to beat the drum on raising interest rates, keeping investors on edge. And Fed Chair Jerome Powell will speak Friday at Jackson Hole, Wyoming. More tough talk on inflation expected. Markets could be on the defensive all week. Housing will be a key feature of this week's economic data, with reports due on new home sales and pending home sales for July, and both are expected to show declines of about 2.5% from June. And the COVID-19 pandemic turned Zoom from a relatively obscure company into a household name. The company expected today to report its quarterly results against a backdrop of fading pandemic-era habits. Sales growth expected to fall to an all-time low Back in the 1970s, it looked like the future of air travel was here with the introduction of the Concorde. But by 2003, that era ended. However, supersonic air travel is once again making headlines, and KCBS's Kim Wonderly has the details in this week's road report. The company is Denver-based Boom Supersonic. The aircraft is named the Overture, and it's reportedly able to achieve speeds of Mach 1.7. That's about 1,300 miles per hour. That's twice as swift as the fastest commercial jet right now. So how does San Francisco to Tokyo in less than six hours sound, or New York to London in a bit over three hours? A West Coast flight from L.A. to Honolulu also estimated at three hours. And you'll be flying with considerably fewer fellow travelers. The Overture will carry between 65 and 88 passengers. Another plus is that the Overture emits net zero carbon and 100% sustainable aviation fuel. But like the Concorde before it, Boom Overture will come at a price up to $5,000 for a one-way ticket. So Boom CEO Blake Scholl said that the goal was to make high-speed travel accessible to the masses. So who has signed on? Richard Branson, founder of the Virgin Group, optioned 10 Overture planes back in 2016 with a letter of intent. Domestically, United Airlines was the first one to jump in last year, signing an agreement to purchase 15 planes with an option of 35 more Overtures. But not to be outdone, this month, American Airlines committed to purchase up to 20 of the supersonic planes with an option for 40 more, which would make American Airlines the world's largest operator of overture. But don't pack your bags just yet. FAA approval is still down the line.